right, we are going to brew up and use some vermicong posting. Worm poop tea. Step number one, get your little tea bucket ready. Got a five gallon bucket here with a couple of items that I purchased at the aquarium shop. Get this little adapter here. Gange adapter so you can feed one hose in there and then control three other and at the end of each one you have these air stones see air stones so that aerates the the water if you're using tap water just put it in the bucket and run it for about an hour, you know, hour and a half to bubble all the chlorine out of the water. And then that runs up and attaches to an air pump. It's about $19 at some fish shop down the way. So that's what that's doing right now. I'm getting ready to add the worm castings, which is right here. This is nature's gold is what they call it. Dark live soil for your growing pleasures. Okay, we're about ready to take the worm castings here and put it into the bucket of water from the tap that's been going for about a good two hours now so the chlorine should all be out of there and what we'll do is start putting the compost in there yeah get your hands on some unsulfured molassic excuse me get your hands on some unsulfured molasses preferably organic and then you'll be on your way you're going to add about one ounce into there once you add that one ounce of molasses, go ahead and stir it vigorously with a stick and that feeds the bacteria which gets the beneficial species growing really well inside, which is what you want. And we'll show you that here in a second. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start putting it in here. This soil, our worm castings, is very much alive. You'll see. Cocoons, worms, I guess all like some millipedes and centipedes, tarantulas, just kidding. Okay, so we'll just get another handful here, move it right into the bucket, drop it right on top of the stones there, Ooh, and we're off. Okay, here we go. We're up there, Grandma molasses and sulfured one ounce the water should be a little higher and I should use a little bit more worm poop or worm castings but I want to conserve my castings for my plantings I'll put a little more in there because after you use after you this goes for three days you take it out and strain it take all the juice put it into here and spray everything in sight in your garden killing all the bugs here we go Give you a little peek inside here. 